man of God that can't do it. You're a man of God that can't do it. Yes. Come here. Are you not the one that sold this car to this man? It's me. It's you that sold it. Yes. Then why did you sell the car that the gearbox is the bad? The gearbox was good. The gearbox was come on. The gearbox was good, Abby. Yes. But it's in my garage. You will go to jail. Oh yeah, enter. You're a man of God, Abby. You will go to jail. <laughs> you, you, you will go to jail. <laughs> 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 so many car owners have been tricked, deceived, and dismantled by different car dealers, just like Fasto. And do you know the reason why it is difficult for them to dictate? I'm going to tell you why. Come, this particular car was bought. It's a very new car, a 2013 model. But guess what? Immediately he bought the car. It's not even up to three days. He brought it to my garage. Why? Because of the gearbox. Now, do you know that in so many car lots, like places where they sell cars, or your car dealer, they will not tell you, but they might have tampered with the gearbox and the engine before selling it to you. Hey! I will go to the second car, but let me talk about this first car. This particular car, the problem is the gearbox. As you can see, our technician is working on it. Jesus Christ! This particular man went to a car lot to buy his car, and he didn't go with a technician. I always tell new car owners or people that are intending to buy a car, if you're actually going to a car lot, even if you trust the dealer so much with your life, even if he was referred to by your church, just like pastor, go with a trusted um, technician like me. Mm. This is because there are some things that you as a car owner or intended car owner would never ever know. There's no way you can actually dismantle an engine and check. You would never ever know if your engine or your gearbox is perfectly fine until a technician, a professional technician, takes his time and checks it. But no, this particular car owner decided to go with his tease and his babe. Tease. Yeah, I, I think it's a nickname. Now, see this particular car over here? It's the same problem. It's suffering from overheating. But why is it suffering from overheating? That's because they don't already touch the engine before the owner of this car bought it. I looked at the inside of this car and the inside is so sweet. Like the leather is mad. Like it's a new car. You're going to see a new car. But the problem now is that the man just saw the, you know, he's looking aesthetically pleasing. He's looking fine. But he refused to go with a technician to check if the engine is perfectly okay. They feel change the gasket for you. They feel touch one or two things, the car go they run, you go to see everything, they fine. Now you have to buy a new engine, <laughs> three point something million. Now more than that. <laughs> so the mechanical wiring of a car is as sensitive as a woman's body. So make sure that once you get to the car lot, once you open the bonnet and you check and you, it looks like there's one or two magumago going on, pick up your phone and call your technician. Very, very important. This is not to tell you what you don't know, you know it. But I'm just reminding you as a perspective citizen that I am. I'm just my mama. Food is not green. Gracious, how was the shot? Hey, Gracious. We should do it again.